All the sheep are drinking from the surface water, or rather from this aquifer water that's running across the surface. They're not even going to the water tank. A few bits of the bramble that I was cutting yesterday now being nibbled by sheep. But they're all drinking, or have been drinking, from this uh, water flowing over the surface of the land. It's groundwater that has warmed. That yo is nuzzling, was nuzzling through the horse chestnut litter to get to the horse chestnuts underneath. They're still around. They're still finding horse chestnuts and beech nuts. The other one they like is getting beech nuts. Everybody likes drinking this water. Anyway, I'm here, whoops, I'm here collecting a stash of kindling. This was an old sty over this fence before I put that gate in there. This is another foundling gate and it doesn't, this has leaned away so it no longer bolts properly. So that's why it's got this on top. But this used to be the sty over the uh, fence. Used to be able to walk it. And I'm now using it as a collecting repository or depository or whatever you want to call it for my kindling. And while I was doing that, the sheep had finished their meal and had come up to drink water from the aquifer which is now flowing down. I think partially they don't go up to the water tank because they don't want to walk in all the mud in the cold water so it's much easier to drink it from here. I love the coppery color of winter weeping willows. Now the this tree has uh, most of its hanging dangly down tendrils, these, have been eaten by the sheep. But you can see that weeping willow over there is still very coppery in color. A kind of a coppery yellow. So up this little knoll, sheep are still finding bits to eat despite the fact they have a big bale of hay under the oak tree. And there is a little bit, uh, sorry, Ebony. You can see her with her bare bottom. Still able to graze a bit of grass. They're eating it now because it's not frosted. Most of this morning it was frosted. Okay, light is beginning to fade, so I'm gonna go in and stoke the wood stove. You can see the coppery yellow color of this weeping willow and how it's weeping bit down here has been grazed by the sheep. And that one hasn't, well, it has, but you can't tell from here. They've reached a mature stage where the Sheep don't eat the bark. A weeping willow needs to get to about 10 years 
and then livestock won't strip the bark because did you know that weeping willows or willows are the parent plant of aspirin. So when these were younger, they would want to strip the bark. You can see right there, this is where a horse or a sheep managed to reach over the fence I had and strip the bark. You can see it goes bloop, 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 bloop. So it tore a strip and the willow was healing itself here and has healed itself there and has healed itself up there. But it's doing okay, despite that. But now, when it gets mature enough and it doesn't have the smooth bark of a baby tree, they're less likely to strip that because the aspirin aspect or the painkiller is not as available and it's harder to get at. Whereas, if you come up here to this smoother bark, they would happily eat that if they were feeling in pain or anything and strip that for the painkiller effect an anti-inflammatory effect that willow has. So willow is the drug parent of aspirin. So there's a bit of trivia for you. And there's a little bit grazing grass on the hill above the willow, the weeping willow.